with the guns, optics, and reloading. My name is Brian, and I sure do appreciate you coming to this channel to check out all the stuff that we're doing. Uh, today is going to be a continuation of uh, last week's episode, which was a Savage Bolt Lift Kit uh, that we put in the Savage Rifle. We got that from Custom Guns and Ammunition, uh, Nathaniel Lambeth. It's a great kit for your Savage Rifle. Really improves the, uh, the lift of the bolt. But today, we're going to put in a, uh, a new bolt handle. The same guy that told me about the bolt kit told me about this bolt handle. It comes from Glades Armory. Uh, I'll put a link in there, but uh, check this out. You're really going to like it. It really improves the look of the bolt and really does improve the feel, and you're going to want one. All right, so here we are. We're going to install this really cool bolt handle from Glades Armory. All right, so the first thing you want to do, get your quarter inch. Uh, Allen wrench or key. Uh, I don't know. Everybody calls them different things. I call it an Allen wrench. Quarter inch. Going to take this bolt off. Uh, if you have not done the bolt lift kit or if you have never taken this uh, main screw out, it will be really difficult the first time. So I've already done this a few times. I've already got mine set. So it's going to be a lot easier to take apart. So basically, you're just going to unscrew this. Take your main screw off. All right, you're just gonna undo that. You're gonna take your bolt handle off, and you can leave the rear baffle on here. You don't need to take this off for this installation. You're just gonna leave that there. All right, so here is our new bolt handle from Glades Armory. Super cool, all CNC machined, really nice. And uh, let's just look at the differences here real quick from the stock one. All right, so as you can see, um, this one from Glaze Armory is a little bit longer. Uh, that's going to help with the bolt lift. It's it, you know it's it's because of the length, the leverage is going to be a little bit less leverage, so it's going to help with that lift. It's going to make it a little easier, and because it's a little bit longer, you won't you may not be smacking your scope with your hand while you're doing it. Uh, you know sometimes with this stock one, if, especially if you're doing competition shooting, you have a tendency to hit your scope and it kind of hurts and. So anyway, this is going to be cooler. So this this uh, the bolt handle length on this one is, is 1.75 inches, and then they give you a two inch uh, bolt handle, which uh, this is threaded. So if you ever want to replace this, you can you can unscrew this from here and put on a new one. You know if you want to be really fancy and try out different you know bolt handles, you can. But anyway, we're going to put this back on. So really, all there is to it is just take this. You're just going to line this up just like you did with your old one. It's, that's in there. You're going to take your main screw, put it back in there. Uh, and then I'm going to use one of my favorite tools here. This is a Wheeler Fat Wrench. And I've got this thing set at 30 um, inch pounds right now. Really don't need to do a whole lot more than 30. Some people will say, you know, torque it down to 40, 50, 60, whatever. I'm doing 30. And uh, that works good for me. But anyway, so that's all. That's all. That's all. So as you can see here, the rear baffles in the correct orientation, so it sits here on the bolt handle just right. If you put this in backwards, it's not going to fit back on your receiver square, and you'll have to take it apart and do it over again. So, but uh, anyway, that's it. This is the uh, bolt handle from Glades Armory. Really nice product. It really helps. Uh, also, bolt lift kit in here from Custom Guns and Ammunition. And with this bolt handle, I'm expecting anywhere from uh, between 40 and 60% uh, better bolt lift. So, it's exciting. I can't wait to try it out. I'm going to go to the range probably tomorrow and do all this. All right. Thanks. All right. That's how you install that Savage bolt handle. It's a really easy job to do, especially once you've taken your bolt apart. Got that nut loosened up. It's a little easy to do. Uh, GladesArmory.com, check them out. You're really going to like it. They've got bolt handles for all Savages, but pretty much the ones that I'm using are going to be the ones for the Savage 10, 11, and 12. Uh, so that's there. Check out their eBay store, check out their website, get a handle for your Savage, and make it even better.